Okay guys, um, do a little uh, video here of uh, my snapper collection, if you guys want to call it that. Um, like I said, I've been buying and reselling these things, and uh got a couple here that I have right now. Um, this one here, you know, it looks a little rough. It's actually not in bad shape either. The front end's a little goofy on it. Um, the transmission from the one that I told you guys where I'd pulled it out of this one and put it in the other one was actually laying right here. Um, I'll show you guys what was wrong with it. Um, I'm on my cell phone. You guys probably understand why it's so shaky. Um, this actual gear that's right here, if you look at it, the teeth are actually wore off of it. They should look more like this one here. Okay, and they're wore completely off of it. There's actually four gears that hook on here where these uh, where these holes are. And they're yeah, they're only three quarters of an inch round, maybe an inch by an inch and a half. Um, one of the gears, the tooth was actually missing off of it. So I'm thinking that whoever had it hit something with it or jerked it real hard or something and uh, broke the little tooth off of it and then it rolled rolled around in there and just chewed it to pieces. And, and and then they it seems like they drove it for a while because it's the gear or the, or the grease in there is just it's just completely full of metal. It almost looks like um uh like an anti seize type compound that you would use on a bolt. Um it, it is just some nasty, nasty stuff and it's just full of metal filings. It is really gross. Um I did get it apart and that's that's what you see now. That's where I ended up pulling the whole rear end and transmission out of this one here. Um, this is the one, like I said, it's got that 11 and a half horse, or 11 horse Briggs and Stratton on it. The motor actually runs real good, but whoever had it before, they took the linkage off of it and hooked up manual uh, choke and uh, uh, throttle adjustments on it, and it, it's all just kind of hacked together. Um, like I said, it does run real good. Um, anybody interested in a motor, um, get a hold of me, PM me, you know, put a put a thing up on my messages, and I'll respond back to you. Um, yeah, the whole thing is actually, you know, for parts or whatever. So if there's anything on here you guys see, um, something you need to be interested in, let me know. Um, I do live in Dayton here in Ohio. Um, so if you guys are anywhere local, I can ship it or whatever. Um, so that's that one here. Let's go over this other one. Uh, yeah, it's all all goofy here. So this one here is the uh, the one that I told you guys about. It's a SRM140. Um, it's got a 33 inch deck on it, uh, 12 and a half horse Briggs and Stratton. Um, this is the one where I pulled the rear end out of the other one I just showed you and stuck it in this one. The thing runs like a dream. Um, I'm going to have to get the carburetor rebuilt on it. That's something I'm still learning how to do here. Um, any of you guys got videos out there that shows, uh, how to do that stuff. This has a Walbro, uh, carburetor on it. Um, let's see if I can show a video here. Uh, it's got this little bitty carburetor on here. It isn't like the other ones where it's got the whole whole assembly is together here and then it comes up off of it. This is a newer style here. Um, but yeah, uh, this one here, if I can get the carburetor rebuilt on it, it is for sale too. Pretty much all of them are for sale except for this one here. Um, this one is the one, the latest video I showed, the uh, SR930. Um, this has a 9 horsepower, 30 inch cut. Um, this thing is in awesome shape. Um, other than no battery and the starter is kind of goofy on it, um, the, uh, the wire that goes on to the starter, uh, it, it just twists around in the case. Um, it actually just, the whole, where it goes actually into the side of the starter here, um, it just twists around. It just, somebody's goofed it up. Um, the starter actually might be good. I might be able to find just that piece, but they're only like 35 bucks for the whole replacement starter off of eBay. Um, so I may just buy another starter. I think I'm just going to sell it the way that it is and make it cheap for somebody. Um, this is my personal one. Um, I, I like this style. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of Forrest Gump here. So um, has an eight horse Briggs and Stratton on it. This is the one I showed you guys a video of too. I think of uh, where it has the plow kit on the front of it. Um, actually made this bracket mount onto this. Um, had to cut a notch in it and uh, weld a piece onto it so it actually just basically bolts onto the front of it. It bolts on solid with four bolts. There's two on each side. Um, it's got a 48 inch plow on it. I'm going to have to see, I, like I said, I do live in Ohio here so we don't get a whole lot of snow. Um, it's got the tilt function on it, or not, but the left and right swing on it, whatever you guys want to call it. Turns to the left and to the right by the little arm that's on the side of it. Um, just, like I said, I just left the bracket on there. It doesn't, doesn't hinder me mowing so I just leave it on there. Um, this has the electric start, 8 horse Briggs and Stratton, runs very very well, one pull wonder, um, thing starts right up just about every time, since I put that, that rebuilt carburetor on there it does, it runs very well too. Um, 
this one is for sale to an extent, but I got a little bit of money in it. So if somebody offered me the right price for it, I would sell it. But it's one of those ones I don't know if I would or not. Um, yeah, this has a, the, the bagger kit also. Um, the uh, 12 and a half horse brakes here, I actually have a kit that mounts on the first one I showed you. And it may or may not fit on here. I, I think I could actually make it fit. Um, so I, I might put that on there to get rid of it and make this one worth a little bit more. Um, yeah, like I said, guys, if uh, there's anything on here that you guys see that you want, um, let me know. Um, I'm going to post this up. If you guys uh, don't forget to subscribe and, uh, you know, PM me and post any comments and stuff on anything, uh, need some subscribers. So, uh, you know, thanks a lot, guys.